yesterday's arrest of the Rens rural king Charles Wesley Mumberry outside the Ginger High Court after he was granted bail came as a shock to many leaders in Renzori region. For that moment we got happy but uh, looking at the security situation outside we saw we were suspecting that I think this situation is not a usual one. The Kasese municipality MP Robert Centenary says the king's rearrest was a betrayal of the entire kingdom by the president. Centenary bases his statement on an agreement that he says the kingdom officials reached with the government against interfering with court proceedings. He really assured us that the court processes must take root without impunity and we said yes that's okay but please let the state not interfere and he said yes. But now you can see. While we were, when we were investigating these other main case, uh, char um, charges, uh, police found out there were other crimes committed and individually connected to him. In this case, they should have brought it up as additional evidence. And you know when evidence is continual, I mean the investigations are continuous, you can amend the charge sheet. Bugwari County MP Abdul Katuntu is an advocate who describes yesterday's arrest of the king as unlawful. Katuntu says that while the police have the right to re-arrest a suspect on other charges, the officers didn't follow the law in the case of the Rens rural king. They could as well served, have served him with criminal summons because that's what happened. They could have served his lawyers or himself. We don't normally arrest because when, when, when the file has been sanctioned. You can arrest before, but to ensure that you, you do this in, within the limits of the provided time. In 2005, a security outfit that was dubbed Black Mamba stormed the High Court in Kampala during the treason trial of 14 suspects accused of carrying out subversive activities under the PRA rebel group. The commandos rearrested all the suspects who had been granted bail. Since then, a number of similar incidents have happened in the country. They have learned nothing and forgotten nothing. Uh, after that, they should have seen the public reaction because the public was very, very angry with them. Two, even the judiciary. At this rate, police has a lot of money in its operations, which they are now misusing to curtail the freedoms of the people. I think I would appeal to my colleagues in parliament. We trim their budget so that we can start having value for money. They use it properly. But the biggest question lingering on most people's mind is what's next for Rens rural kingdom? The royal family has been meeting the president. I believe the same trend will continue. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.